<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight. And I'd especially like to thank our Mr. and Mrs. McGee and Mr. and Mrs. Ford for helping put this day together and also for raising two of the finest people I've ever met. Those of you who don't know me, my name is Alex. I met Andrew in seventh grade, although later we figured out that we knew each other when we were six and we were on a soccer team called the Sneaky Ninjas. <laughs> it's probably the last time I've worn purple, too. Um, oh well. Anyway, so we went to the same middle school, and he introduced me to his group of friends, and some of those guys are back there. So we've known each other a while. Um, and I don't need to go into why middle school is the worst thing ever, but <laughs> having a legitimate friend helped us get through the hard times. And we stayed friends even though we had the same thing as Alicia. We went to different schools and now we're pursuing different paths. And I think that says a lot about our relationship and also the kind of person that he is. Because we don't do everything together, but we see each other when we can and we keep in touch on Facebook. Um, and I think that that's something that those of us that are getting out of college are learning. And maybe some of you already know this. But relationships that aren't reinforced by proximity take a lot more conscious effort to maintain. Humans are pretty tribal creatures, and we like to keep those we love close to us. And Andrew and I have even taken that to a literal level. <laughs> um, one time, he was helping me with a film shoot, and our respective girlfriends were playing princesses that were having a tea party. Yeah. Um, Megan really impressed me that day, because she was upbeat and fun and creative the whole time. She made her own tiara out of tinfoil and improvised this whole conversation about the state of her kingdom. And she was always positive, which is important. Um, but anyway, so later in the movie, bandits come and kidnap the princesses and tie them to a tree. Now guys, there's an old tradition of how men would figure out who really loves them. They would take their wife and their dog and they'd lock them in the trunk of their car for an hour. And then they'd open the trunk, and guess who's happy to see them? <laughs> so, Megan was tied to the tree for over an hour, and she still agreed to marry him. <laughs> so, Andrew is one of the smartest guys I know, and this is one of the best decisions he's ever going to make. This marriage is not about finding someone you can live with, it's about finding someone you can't live without. And I'm so glad that my best friend has found this person. So here's to a lifetime of happiness and love to Megan and Andrew. Oh, yeah.